Hey guys, what's going on? Jab here, and in today's video, we are going to be doing some longer term technical analysis on Bitcoin because, as you guys probably know, Bitcoin rallied quite a bit later on in the last part of July. And over the last 14 days or so, Bitcoin has for the most part been trading sideways in a range between about $11,000 and $12,000. A lot of people are starting to wonder, hey, is this sideways trading that we're seeing go on with Bitcoin an indication that we're going to have a correction? Are we forming some kind of M top like a lot of people are talking about, a double top of some sorts? Is Bitcoin going to correct here? Is the bull market over? There's so many questions in the cryptocurrency space right now. And there's also some things I want to clear up about what we talked about in yesterday's video. So we actually have a lot to get to in today's video because by the end of this video, you should be able to walk away from this video. I'm sorry, I'll stop. You should be able to walk away with a much better understanding of where Bitcoin is going, what it's doing, and why it's doing it. Guys, we're going to be looking at a plethora of different technical indicators today, and I'm sure you're going to get some great value out of today's video. If you do enjoy today's video, as always, consider hitting that like button. By the way, thank you so much for 1,300 likes yesterday and 13,800 views. Very, very appreciated. And by the way, guys, I do want to mention that tomorrow is the last day of the sale on the Cryptocurrency Technical Analysis Academy. If you guys want to jump on into the best academy in the entire cryptocurrency space that'll teach you everything you need to know about technical analysis, highly encourage you to check us out at the link in the description down below. There's 36 videos and over 12 hours of high quality content here and you don't want to miss out more information on that at the end of the video but for now though guys without much further ado let's go ahead and dive right on into it <sighs> i'm out of coffee that really sucks i just started the video anyway guys we have a lot to get into in today's video so let's go ahead and jump onto the chart if you will remember to a couple of weeks ago when Bitcoin was trading around, I don't know, like right here, we drew this zone of resistance and said this is where Bitcoin is going to have trouble. And that is exactly what Bitcoin did because a few days after we made that call, Bitcoin rallied up right here on this candle wick into this zone of resistance between 11.7 and 12.1. And in case you're wondering as to whether or not I just pulled those numbers out of you know where, I didn't. They actually correspond to a double top over here and a top right there back in August of 2019 and late February of 2018, respectively. Bitcoin has, as of right now anyway, rejected off of that zone of resistance. And a lot of people might be wondering, Jeb, if Bitcoin is rejecting off of this zone of resistance, is Bitcoin done with the bull market? Is Bitcoin just, you know, are, are, are we actually going to break out or not? Which one is it? Well, first of all, you already know my position on this, and I want to make it very clear once again, and that is that Bitcoin is looking very healthy right now. Bitcoin is very bullish right now. We've just rallied 30%, and Bitcoin needs time to lock in those gains, consolidate, because as I said in the last video, we could trade sideways for the next six months, and based on historical precedent, Bitcoin could still very easily be considered to be in a bull market. Before we even get into the TA, let me remind you what the previous bull market looked like. Bitcoin traded sideways for 180 days in here before we actually started moving. But guess what? When we did start moving, Bitcoin would rally 4,000% in two years. So what does this mean for Bitcoin? Does it mean that Bitcoin's going to pull back down to $10,500 and bounce here and then rally? Or is Bitcoin going to trade sideways or is Bitcoin going to break out? We're going to get into all of that because I think it's interesting, number one, and it's also a trading opportunity, number two. But more importantly, number three, it doesn't actually matter. Bitcoin is in a bull market and Bitcoin is heading to the upside. The technicals, the fundamentals, and the retail and institutional adoption is looking fantastic for Bitcoin. So I want to put this at the beginning of the video and kind of front load it by making sure you guys understand no matter what Bitcoin does in the next couple of weeks we're still looking very bullish in the trend as your friend until it ends so far we have no reason to believe it has anyway with that said let's get back to it as far as what happens to bitcoin right now it is a fact you have not dreamt it that bitcoin is rejecting off of this zone of resistance tell me where that quotes from if somebody knows where that quotes from i will give you the course like holy crap that's a that's that's obscure right there most of you don't even know i quoted something anyway Bitcoin double topped right there and has rejected from the zone of resistance that we've been talking about. Not only that, we were in a consolidation pattern and Bitcoin broke up and then broke down and now it's trading sideways pretty much exactly where it started. So what happens from here on Bitcoin? Well, guys, quite obviously Bitcoin needs to break this resistance or it's going to trade sideways or move to the downside. I personally think what's most likely here is that Bitcoin is going to continue trading sideways for another several days. Bitcoin is in a deadlock right now. We're seeing the strength of the bulls and the bears very much evenly matched. The bears are very strong right now and helping to keep Bitcoin held down below the level of resistance at 11.7 to 12.1. But the bulls are also very strong because we're keeping hitting our head right against it. So what I think is going to happen is that Bitcoin is going to continue trading sideways and continuously knocking its head against that level of resistance. And that leads into two different scenarios that can play out and we just don't know which one's going to yet. Number one, either Bitcoin keeps trading sideways and it keeps knocking its head against that and Bitcoin's 
resistance zone continues getting weakened and weakened and weakened and weakened. That's something we talk about in the Cryptocurrency Technical Analysis Academy with support and resistance right here. When a resistance level or zone is tested over and over and over and over again, normally it's going to break because the bulls are obviously strong enough to break through it if they're strong enough to test it 17 times, right? We've already tested it three, four, five, six, seven times, depending on how you count it. The first scenario is that Bitcoin continues trading sideways and continually bumping our head against that zone of resistance until something breaks, something gives, and Bitcoin rallies to the upside. Now, on the other side, there is a chance that Bitcoin rallies up there just a little bit too quickly. Maybe on the weekend, everybody's a little exuberant. Say it's Friday. Everybody loves buying Bitcoin later on on Friday after they've gotten their paycheck. Bitcoin rallies just a little bit too quickly, bumps a little bit too far into that zone of resistance, doesn't do it the right way, doesn't have the right form and it gets rejected and we fall and we start a new short-term downtrend. That is also a scenario that can play out here and that would look something like this. Bitcoin would rally up here, maybe break up above up to like 12.3 or so. Everybody gets really excited and then what happens? Someone comes in, they sell too much Bitcoin, Bitcoin falls quickly. Everybody that bought up here is now at a loss and they start selling and then Bitcoin initiates a new downtrend moving down to a support zone. It's hard for me to explain exactly why I think that might happen. Just call it intuition and experience in the market, but I have a strange feeling that something like that has a pretty good likelihood of, of happening. Bitcoin rejecting here and pulling back in this exact fashion is something that I've seen happen many, many times where everybody thinks the breakout's coming and then no, actually it's not coming. We break just a little bit above this resistance. Everybody gets hyped up. Everybody buys Bitcoin and then everybody gets wrecked. So what I'd actually like to see more is Bitcoin just test this over and over and over again and then slowly but surely kind of break up above it. Something similar to that would be kind of what we saw happen when Bitcoin initially broke $6,000 back in 2019. Bitcoin rallied up here, tested $6,000 over and over and over again, and then we eventually just kind of moseyed ourselves right up on above it. And then it didn't even look like a proper breakout. We just straight up trended through it because we'd already broken it. So one of those two scenarios is likely to play out. But let's go ahead and actually look at some technical indicators and see what they're saying. Starting out here on the daily chart, we cannot deny that Bitcoin has had a bearish cross on the MACD. And this is obviously not a good thing for Bitcoin in the short term, but in the long term, I think it actually will be. What this is going to cause Bitcoin to do is have its MACD reset down here to a much more reasonable level. Without context, you might think, okay, MACD is pretty high up there. But if you look through the history of Bitcoin in the last several years, this is the last two years of MACD price data on the daily chart. This is actually one of the highest levels that MACD has ever gotten to, so we would like to see a reset on that. In the same light, we've seen Stoke RSI has reset all the way down here, and RSI has reset down to 58, which is a very healthy level for it to be at during an uptrend. And while volume returned there for a few days, it is starting to taper off again, so there is reason to believe that Bitcoin might trade sideways for a little while. As far as the weekly chart is concerned, guys, RSI is sitting up here quite high also, and I want to point this out because... Guys, the RSI is a very, very important indicator, and the RSI rallied all the way up to 68 in this rally. That's actually one of the highest levels that RSI has been at in a very long time. One thing to keep in mind, though, is that during previous bull markets, Bitcoin would consistently rally up here to the 80 level on the RSI. So if Bitcoin is in a bull market right now, we believe it is, there is reason to believe that RSI might rally up to 80. And you guys know the only way to get RSI to rally to 80 is by having a massive rally on the actual price action chart, which is encouraging. So even though on surface you might look at this and say, oh, RSI is sitting pretty high on weekly chart. If you look at the history and have context and nuance and actually understand the market, you're going to look at this and say, wait a minute. Bitcoin actually should rally quite a bit more here, which is, like I said, very encouraging. Furthermore, on the weekly chart, Bitcoin's MACD is bullish and still diverging. We've seen our three white soldiers pattern, which is normally a continuation pattern and should expect Bitcoin to rally farther from here. And we've only seen this really small little red candlestick, guys. We've only been trading sideways for about 10 days, so don't get all freaked out just yet. One thing also to keep in mind, guys, if you look at the weekly chart volume, you can see that even though we've rallied quite a bit, Volume is very lackluster still, which means there's still a lot of room to run because there were less people in the market right over here than there are now, and there was more volume. What does that mean? It means we're missing some volume that should be coming pretty easily, readily available because it was here three months ago. So it probably didn't go far. It's more than likely going to return relatively easily. Look, I can go into technical indicators for the rest of the day. Like, there's so, so many things I could talk about. I could talk about Bitcoin's uh, market dominance going down. We just pulled back below 60. That's very significant, indicating a bull market because people are more confident in Bitcoin, so they're taking more risky investments like they would in altcoins. There's so many different things I can talk about. All these altcoins just 
popping off and off and off and off and off. Swipe, which is one currency I talked about a few months, a few weeks ago, is up like 300% since I made that video making a good call on it. I can talk technical indicators on Bitcoin all day long, but like I've said in many videos, I'm not so much interested in just rattling off a bunch of indicators. I'm more interested in actually giving you guys an idea of what the market's doing on the short-term time frames. That being the daily chart, in this case, Bitcoin is looking pretty neutral. It's trading sideways, bearish MACD cross on daily. Many things to say that Bitcoin may not be just ready yet to get through that zone of resistance. However, when you zoom out to the weekly chart, when you zoom out and you look at the long-term technical fundamentals, retail and institutional adoption, you realize we are still at the ground floor of something. So no matter what Bitcoin does, whether it pulls back to 10.5, whether it breaks out right now or it trades sideways, Bitcoin is looking very healthy for the long run. And no matter what happens in the short term, you can make money on that so long as, you know, it's not trading sideways. Even if it is, there's going to be volatility in that because there's more volume in the space now than there ever has been, or at least that there has been in the last several months. So if you're concerned about Bitcoin, if you're concerned about the market, I would say don't be. There's not really a good reason to be. I do think the next several months are going to be extremely bullish on Bitcoin, but for now, just hold your horses. Maybe start dollar cost averaging now. Probably a good time to do that. Might be a little bit late, but, you know, better late than never. Guys, I'm very much looking forward to where Bitcoin and cryptocurrency is heading, and I would love to hear your take on all of this in the comment section down below. Let me know what you think of this video. Where do you think Bitcoin is heading? I'd like to hear all of that in the comments. Anyway, guys, before I go, I do want to mention that tomorrow is the last day of the sale on the Cryptocurrency Technical Analysis Academy. Guys, over 100 people have joined in the last two weeks, and if you want to be one of them, I would highly encourage you to join us down below. I'm getting so many messages right now of people going through CT2A or alumni of the Academy saying how useful and incredibly invaluable this Academy is. People have not made bad trades that they would have made before the Academy. People have seen things that they didn't see before and made good trades. People have learned so much going through this Academy, and I'm so incredibly proud of our students and how well they are doing because of what they have learned herein. Guys, it's really simple. If you want to learn technical analysis, there's one tried and true place to do it, and it's linked in the description down below. It is the Cryptocurrency Technical Analysis Academy, and you can get $40 off at checkout using the coupon code BULLRUN2020 up until and through tomorrow. Guys, we do have a full 14-day money-back refund guarantee, and yes, you can pay in Bitcoin. Shoot us an email, and we'll take care of that pretty quickly. But anyway, guys, that is going to wrap it out for today's video. Before I go, though, I do just first want to thank each and every single last one of you for watching, as always. And I will see you guys.